Hi, this is Seshgiri. I am uh, one of the tutors at CHEG. I teach computer science and advanced math. Today we are going to see um, a small tutorial on linear search algorithm. So um, linear search algorithm is basically searching for a value in a list, uh, list of given values um, in a sequential manner. For example, let us see um, the list which is given here. Um, we see a list of elements and we need to search for an element three. So let's see the way this algorithm works. So um, all we need to, uh, the data that we need for this algorithm is a list of elements and the value that, that we need to search. So for each element in this, for each element in the list, we compare that element's value to the required value. If there is a match, we return the item's location in the list. And uh, if we reach the end of the list without a match, then um, we return a message saying that uh, we, that element that we are searching for is not in the list. So let us see um, the running of this algorithm with an example. Here we have an element. Uh, we have we have a set of uh, nine elements um, as shown in this uh, array. So let's see um, how this works. We compare three to the first element in the list. So this comparison um, is in the first iteration and it's not a match. So we go to the next iteration. Since it's not a match, we go to the next iteration and uh, compare three to eight. Obviously three is not equal to eight. So um, again, move on, moving on to the next element, we compare three with seven, which is again not a match. We keep on doing that until uh, we we find the actual element that we need. So three is currently at the end of the list. So by the time we reach ninth iteration, we see um, that three is present here, and uh, we return nine, saying that uh, element number nine in the list is our required value. So for example, um, if we have uh, if we have the element three in the sixth location. So this algorithm would terminate after the um, six, after the sixth iteration itself. Since we return the value at the sixth iteration, we no longer check the elements that are present after the sixth iteration. So um, the this algorithm runs for six times. As you see the running here in this uh, running of this loop that is given, this for loop uh, running is uh, clearly explained here. So this algorithm in the first iteration compares um, the element two to three, which is not a match. Again, eight to three, again, not a match. So in the sixth iteration, we compared three with three, which is a match. So we return six to the Mm, to the user saying that the required element is the sixth element in the array. So um, let us see what is the running comp running time and how many number of steps are required for this algorithm to terminate. So let us say the first element of this array is three, itself is three. So now our algorithm terminates at the first step. We no, we no longer check the steps that are after the first step because we found the required element as the first element in the array. So obviously the best case running time for this algorithm would be one because we will find the um, element required in the as the first element itself. Now let us take the other case where we do not find three until the last element. Say three is here and uh, we do not have it until the last element in the array. So this algorithm keeps on running until we reach this particular um, element. So by the time we reach here, we have traversed the complete list. Let's say the list has n elements. So the complexity or the running time of this algorithm will be big O n. Big O represents uh, the worst case or the maximum um, polynomial by, by which the number of elements in a particular list is uh, running. So this big O n represents the worst case running time of this algorithm. Now um, we have a few more algorithms that can search for elements. So 
a binary search is a kind of a search which divides the array into half every time. So what this does is we compare uh, the we sort the array and we compare the required element to the center element of the array. So let us say um, we sorted the array. Assume that this array is sorted, and uh, we have three as the we have nine as the center element. We compare nine to three. Since three is less than nine, we um, divide the total list into half into two pieces. Um, say these elements are all the elements that are less than nine, and uh, these are all the elements that are greater than or equal to nine. Since three is less than nine, now we search for three in this part. So we keep on doing this until we find three. So um, we literally divide the um, array into half at every iteration. So the running time of a binary search is log n to the base two. And uh, if we compare it to the linear search, it is big O n. Um, the best case and the worst case vary because if you take the best case, um, the linear search would be the best one because you can find the element in the first array first as the first element itself But in the binary search you have to search from the center element and keep on searching until you find the required element so um, so the average running time or the running complexity of the algorithm are Set to be big O n for linear search and big O log n for binary search Now let us take a special case um, let us say we have this element three multiple number of times in the array. For example, let us say we have an we have an array like this. Two, three, four, six, five, two, four, six. So here in this, we have to search, um, say we have to search for uh, the element three. Three is present only once. So obviously, um, we will be returning uh, the three's location to the um, user. But now let us say we have to search for the element two, which is present multiple number of times, and we have to return all the possible um, all the possible locations where two is occurring. So now to be able to perform this, we need to compare to uh, we need to keep on comparing um, two. To every element in this array so let us say we compared it to the first element we found two but we need to find all the possible occurrences so we have to compare to the next element we have to store this location in some um, in some variable and uh, move to the next element and compare well to find two so if we come to the next element is three which is not two so moving on like that we find two at the sixth location again so obviously we have to store this location six in the variable again so by the time we reach the last element we will have all the possible occurrences of that uh, value we are searching for but um, if we if we take the complexity of this algorithm it is always big o n we, since we are searching for multiple occurrence of an element we have to compare or search for the value until we reach the last element because we can we cannot um, tell whether that the value is present in the first element in the cent in the middle or in the last element so we have we have to keep on searching until we reach the last element so this algorithm always runs n number of iterations or n steps so that is how um, the linear search works so i hope i hope you like this tutorial if you have any questions for me um, um, regarding any any topics in computer science computer networking or advanced math uh, you can just contact me my profile link will be um, at the bottom of this video um, I hope you like this and uh, thank you